Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, Purple on 3. In today's video, we are going to install some highway pegs to my F3 Limited to make it a little more comfortable. So let's get into it. Last year, Tommy G and I attended our very first spider rally in Nixa, Missouri at La Monster Garage. And when you go away on a trip, you bring home some souvenirs. Well, I brought home these highway pegs. And since it's winter, we're gonna get this installed done so that I am ready for riding season. First of all, I'm gonna show you everything that came in the kit from the Monster Garage. So we have this bracket that you have to put on first before you put on the pegs. Then this bracket is for the peg itself. And as you can see, there are different placements that you can use for that and then even the, the peg itself. Then you have the different bolts to use for the nut and if you like, if you want to pretty it up, you can put these pretty caps on. The floorboards have to come off of the F3 so you're going to need these tools. You're going to need a seven millimeter hex head to get the floorboards off and then we're going to need the three-quarter wrench for the nuts and bolts. If you decide to put the pretty little pretties on, you're gonna need a 1 8 Allen wrench. So let's take off the floorboards. Let me show you what I mean by that. First of all, I want to show you the floorboards on the F3. These are adjustable for the rider. So these are adjusted for me and my leg length. Um, that's the nice thing about the F3 is that you can adjust the floorboards. But these floorboards have to come off before we can install the pegs. We're going to use our 7mm hex to remove the floorboards. Okay, five minutes later, because that's how long it takes me. <laughs> Alright, so we take that off. And then we're gonna put our bracket right here and put the floorboard right back on. So there are two different brackets, one for the left side and one for the right side. And they're not, they're not marked, but you can tell by where the holes are, which is left and which is right. That's left, that's right. So we're gonna be using this one. We're gonna line up those holes like that. We're gonna get our floorboard and line it up also. And we're gonna put our bolts back in. Okay, so we have the floorboard and the mount back on and everything is tightened down. And that's what that looks like. Now, here is where it gets exciting. <laughs> Look at this. There are five different holes for this. This is very versatile and there are five different holes here and you could use any of them to find the correct position. So I'm just gonna maybe guess right now what position I might want. Just put it in loosely. This is where it's nice to have let me get a little tighter. Nice to have a little bit of help so you can figure out which where you want it to go. So even the peg itself could go here or it could go here. So Tommy G's gonna help me figure out where I might want this. So Tommy G has been helping me figure out where I might want this peg. So I sometimes ride with my foot like this anyways. So that's a nice rest, but it's not really a different position. And I feel like I could use a different position out here. So I think we're gonna flip it around and put it facing out. All right, so let's see how to put that on then. As you can see, we talked about all the different holes. We're gonna, oh, this is threaded here. So you're just going to take the bolt, we're going to do the top one for now, spin that around and then tighten it down. Okay, let's check out the angle. I'm going to sit up there and see what it feels like. Before I do that, I want to show you these shirts that Steve Spider67 sent Tommy G and me from Australia. 
He is with a group and right now they are in Tasmania on a, a ride and they sent these shirts and I cannot wait to see his videos, but he sent the shirts so we could follow along. So thank you very much, Steve. Tommy G helped me figure out where is quite comfortable for me. So this is what I've come up with for now. Now I had on my tennis shoes, not my riding boots. So I may do some adjusting after I get my riding boots on, but this is where it's gonna start for now. And once you get it in place, a good idea to put some Loctite on the bolt also. Okay, so now we're gonna put the pretty end caps on. Don't lose the set screws like I did. <laughs> we're missing one. <laughs> Don't worry, Tommy G, I will get us another one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put one here, one here, and one here. And I think they look pretty cool. Okay, the last, last one. I think these are really cool looking. I'm using my 1 8, 1 8 Allen wrench to tighten these down. And if you'll notice, they match my little Monster Garage bottle holder. And you know what? I'm asking for a friend, but Lamont, do you think you could make these in purple? I mean, they look cool this way, but hey. Okay, how do they look? I think they look cool. Pretty cool. The only thing that would make them look cooler would be if these end caps were purple. All right, I think this is gonna be a big help to me. When I'm riding long distances, I feel like I needed one more position for my leg. I get a pain right there. So sometimes I put my foot way out here. I, of course, use this. I have even put my left foot back here on the passenger peg just for a different position. So I think this will really help me a lot on the long rides. So of course we have the left side done and you would do the same thing to the right side. Alrighty, we finished the install. Now comes the fun part, testing it out. So as soon as the snow melts, I'm gonna get out there and give this a test ride and I'll let you know what I think. I think they're really cool looking. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. I hope that you found this install helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so for more Purple on 3 content. And as always, remember to begin each and every day with gratitude. Bye for now. Millimeter hex. To remove to remove the floorboard. Am I going the right way? No. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> so we're gonna use our seven mil <laughs> We're gonna use our seven millimeter hex to remove the floorboard.